Hi there! In this video, I will show you how to access the Chico State Virtual Lab Environment using a Mac. For information about creating a virtual lab account or accessing the virtual lab using a Windows PC, please watch the other introductory videos. This environment should be linked from the Virtual Lab Knowledge Base article, which can be accessed from your Blackboard Vista page. Alternatively, you can access the virtual lab directly by pointing your browser to virtual hyphen lab dot csuchico dot edu. The virtual lab works best in Safari or Mozilla Firefox. Google Chrome will not work, but support for Chrome is on the way. Let's go ahead and log into the virtual lab. The virtual lab requires a special VLAB account. If you need assistance creating a VLAB account, please watch the account creation tutorial video. The first time you access the virtual lab environment, you will be prompted to download and install a client program. Go ahead and click Download. Once the client has downloaded, run the installer. The web page will automatically detect when the installation has finished and send you to the virtual lab environment. Once in the virtual lab environment, click on the icon for the application you would like to use. You will be presented with an acceptable use splash page. Just click OK to proceed. The application can take several seconds to load, so just be patient. Once loaded, the application should behave just like a normally installed application, and you can use it to do your coursework. Saving and opening files is slightly different when using a virtual lab application. Because the application is running off of a server, we save and open files from that server, not from the computer sitting in front of us. As you can see here, the default location to save files is a My Documents folder. But it's important to understand that this My Documents folder is on the virtual lab server, not on the computer in front of us. This is useful because this same My Documents folder will be available to us from any device we use at any time. I can save this Photoshop project here at work and then go home and use a different computer to resume working on the same file from the virtual lab. But there are some cases where you wouldn't want to use the server's My Documents folder. For example, if I need to turn in a document on my Blackboard Vista page, I need that document to be stored on the computer sitting in front of me. In those cases, we can save files from the virtual lab application to the computer sitting in front of us. In the Save dialog, we just need to click on Computer, and then scroll down, and we will find our local computer drives are accessible from the virtual lab. I want to save a file to my Mac desktop, so I click on my local disk. The first time I try to save or open from a local drive, I receive a notification that the virtual lab is trying to access my local drives. In order to work in the virtual lab, I need to choose Allow. I'm going to click on my local desktop folder, and then save the file. Now we receive a notification that the Virtual Lab application is trying to write data to our local drive. Click Allow to save your file. 
Now that the file is saved to my local desktop, I can upload it to Blackboard Vista, open it in an application that's not available from the virtual lab, or do whatever else I need to do with it. I can also print from the virtual lab. The printers on the local computer sitting in front of me are automatically added to the virtual lab application. So printing from the virtual lab is just like printing from my local computer. When I'm done using the application to log off of the virtual lab, I just need to close the application normally. And then click log off on the virtual lab web page. That's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and have fun.